Hello, welcome to this video. We are going to test the ESP8266 with, an, with a simple example in which we can toggle a LED on and off. To accomplish this, we'll use the firmware node MCU to ease the process of programming and prototyping the board. Let's move to the step 1, get node MCU. We can build the node MCU from their web and get it sent to our email. We need to download a version of it that has at least the following modules available Node, File, GPIO, Wi-Fi, Net, Timer and MQTT. Step 2. Set up the board to flash the firmware. The second step is flashing the memory with the firmware we just got. We'll have to wire the ESP8266 pin in a special fashion so that the board boots in flashing mode. Wire GPIO0 and ground to low on the FTDI, wire chip enable and BCC to BCC on the FTDI, since chip enable has to be always high, we suggest to solder a, wi a wire between chip enable and BCC like so. Finally, wire the TX and RX on the board to the FTDI and connect the USB to your PC. Step 3. Flash the firmware. Now we are going to flash the download node MCU to the board. Check the port of the FTDI and use the F tool utility to flash it. Step 4. Set up the board to upload the Lua script. Now we just need to set up the board so we can boot it in normal mode to upload our LED script and test it. Starting from the flashing setup, we just need to unwire the GPI-0 and wire a LED and resistor to GPI-02 and ground. Step 5. Upload the script. Clone the ESP8266 repository from the things. Edit the LED Lua file and change the SSID, password and token variables on the script to suit your needs. Load the script using Lua tool. Restart the board. Now we are ready to test it. Step 6. Testing. Finally, we are going to power on and off the LED attack to the board by sending quires to the things.io platform. Use curl to send the value you want the LED to be. That's it. Thanks for watching.